Hello and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel. My name's Neria Mothra and you're watching me make stuff. Today we are going to make a dream catcher. Thank you to my mother, she came back from holiday and bought me some lovely, lovely jubbly seashells. They're so pretty. And I thought, why not make a dream catcher out of them? And uh, some of these, my resin crystals as well, to go with them. Right, the, for starters I'll be using some twine to wrap around the wood because that's a bit sharp there. So what I'll be doing is get my hot glue gun. All you need to do is uh, a little bit of a little hot glue and then just wrap it around all the way until you get to the other end basically. So I'll stop talking and get to it. Right, it is now fully covered, and now it's time to do the middle. So first things first, tie up up the top, or well, anywhere really, because it's a circle. But you don't have to have it as a circle. You can just have like three sticks, make a triangle that you do and um, also I forgot to mention this is a twine as well but what I did is like unraveled it to make it a bit more thinner if you know what I mean so anyways make sure it's nice and tight don't worry about the knots because we'll be like covering it and stuff. So what we need to do first is lift that in like that and then around. Take this and thread it through like so. Like that. And then pull. Do move that to the bottom. I think. Yeah, there we go. So you got that bit first. Just let me um, get my twine a bit smaller to thread it through easier. So I'm gonna pause it one minute. Right. Okay. Just wrapped it a bit more smaller, isn't it? 
Right, so you do it again. You loop it round. Fine. Thread it through. And you just keep repeating. It's, so you just keep repeating all the way until you get to the middle, basically. You just thread it through, thread it through, thread it through. Like this. Very tell you. Ah, that. If you don't like the length where you've done it, you can just easily just remove it as well. Like so. So if you, if you let's just say you've done a bit too big. Fine, just un untie it a little bit, go to the size you want, and then just pull it like that. And then you just keep looping around until you get to here, and then just and then you start threading it through. Hopefully, that makes sense. <laughs> Right now. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not pretty, but I've m probably made a mistake somewhere. I have no clue. But, uh, yeah. Put a bit off because it's going to hard to get through it. So we do a few more. Don't have to be perfect. As long as you know it's a dream country. <laughs> Probably easier if uh, the circle would have been probably a bit larger. Probably. Probably get a bit. I mean, there's probably other better channels out there, but you do what you gotta do. Yeah. Like I said, not pretty, but hey. It works. <laughs> so all you need to do now is tie a knot so you kind of get your two fingers, loop it round, and then pull it through. Like so. What else?
There you go. What I'm going to do now uh, is just glue all these on, really. Also, with the leftovers, fine, you could probably just tie them to the bottom, have it dangled. If you wanted to. So, yeah. I'm going to start gluing these on. I should have left one. I should have left the hot glue on, but hey. Uh, I'm going to get the hot glue again and start gluing it. Go back. Right, I have these shells, these nice big shells, so what I've done took a very long time. Uh, if you have a drill or anything, it's probably easier, but do be careful so you don't crack the shells. What I did is draw it in, hand hurts, <laughs> but now I'm gonna thread this through as best I can anyway. Thread it through. Thread it through, tie a knot, make sure you got a bit of knot left for you to tie. Okay, kind of thing. Like so, tie here, tie there. <laughs> I recommend probably double knot just to keep it secured. Like so. And just move that that way. And now you have a nice shell at that bottom. Like that. <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. I'll probably loosen this bit a bit more down. Put them 
that. I'll probably put this bit anyway. And that's basically your dream catcher. Simple, easy. I don't know if I should go a bit more overboard and put these on. Little beads. Group of beads that I've got from Amazon. I'll link uh, I'll link it below the description. So But if you can't buy any uh, find get any shells then just get this from Amazon as well if you need to. Or just have a nice day trip and Go to the beach, get yourself some shells. And that's how you make a dream catcher. Simple, easy. And I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly do. I really love this stuff. I'm just gonna draw these two, make another two dangles, and that'll be it. So, yeah. Capture. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.